Mercury is the closest planet to the Sun. Consequently, it orbits the Sun faster than all the other planets, so the Romans named it after their fast-moving messenger god. Note that Mercury is the second densest planet after Earth, with a huge metallic core about 3,600 to 3,800 kilometers wide, or about 75% of the planet's diameter. Comparatively, Mercury's external shell is only 500 to 600 kilometers thick. The combination of its massive core and its composition, which includes an abundance of flying elements, kept scientists puzzled for years. Mercury can be seen with the naked eye, and a few hundred years ago it was much easier to do this than it is now. Nowadays, such observations are greatly hindered by light pollution. As the planet is so close to the Sun, Mercury's surface temperature can reach a scorching 450 degrees Celsius. However, since there isn't much real atmosphere to trap heat, temperatures can drop to minus 170 degrees Celsius at night, fluctuating over 600 degrees Celsius, the largest in the solar system. Mercury is one of the most difficult objects to study among the big planets. It took Messenger 6.5 years of flight to orbit around it, during which it made six gravity maneuvers and traveled 7.9 billion kilometers. That's more than the distance between the Earth and Pluto. Mercury has no significant atmosphere to stop the impacts, so the planet is modeled with craters. About 4 billion years ago, an asteroid about 100 kilometers wide struck Mercury with a force of 1 trillion 1 megaton bombs, creating a huge impact crater about 1,550 kilometers wide. A 2016 rock study of Mercury's surface revealed that the planet can still rumble with earthquakes. In addition, Mercury's surface has been permanently altered by volcanic activity in the past. However, another 2016 study showed that Mercury's volcanic eruptions probably ended about 3.5 billion years ago. A completely unexpected discovery was that Mercury has a magnetic field. Planets theoretically only generate magnetic fields if they rotate rapidly and have a liquid core. But it takes Mercury 59 days to spin, and it is so small that its core should have cooled long ago. The observations found that the planet's magnetic field is about three times stronger in the northern hemisphere than in the southern one. Although Mercury's magnetic field is only 1% of that of Earth, it is very active, 